Hello, or good morning, Saturday, January the 26th here. This last video, or it's really this same video we just uploaded a day or so ago is really bad quality. This video editing software has been uh, giving me a few fits, so I'm going to try this again and see if it's better. I'm really embarrassed by the quality of that last video. And uh, let's, but again, we're just making a, a little uh, monogram sign for my sister-in-law here. I have got it uh, primed in uh, one coat of paint since this video. It's just a real quick little job. I've made so, dozens of these in the past, so it's nothing new on that. But uh, at this point, something's always going wrong, so I'm working on the video editing here, and uh, I know that one was hard to watch. But anyway, you know this, just to explain this a little bit, because I linked in this video just a little bit, or slowed it down. You see me picking them pieces out as I'm cutting that. Because I'm always afraid if one little piece flips up, it'll hit the torch and mess up the part. Or I have had it hang up in the uh, sheet metal there and scoot it around a little bit, so. You just kind of take a little magnet, pocket magnet, and pick the little pieces out as it's cutting. It works much better. So, anyway, appreciate you watching this video. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I've been having trouble with my video editing software lately. It looks like this is crooked, so let me fix you a minute. Sorry about that wiggling around okay doing this with my cell phone because my gopro is battery is dead because i did a little video last night uh for new guys that are hard-headed like me that wonder how to get rid of this dross on this let me show you something that uh, i've heard plenty of people say but tom zelickman told me this I think where he talked about it is uh, I cut this for my sister-in-law last night but anytime this is 16 gauge material so anytime you do that you got a lot of draw some 16 gauge and 14 gauge really I don't care what settings you use you're gonna have this this is fine cut uh, at about 160 inches a minute or so but that stuff's I, I used to take a I'll show you what I used to do with it. And it's very time consuming. And it makes you not even want to do this kind of work. But I used to take a little chisel like this and I'd go along here and I'd, I'd just try not to scratch it up, but I'd just kind of go along and pop it. Or I'd just come along here and spend a lot of time doing that. And I'd kind of scratch it up anyway. Here's what works real easy. Eric, if you watch this video, you're, you've been asking me questions like this. So I finally tried this. I thought I tried it in the past and it didn't work very well, but it does work real well. I'll just show you. Here's how easy it is. Take a regular knotted cup, a wire cup, you know, on a grinder. you endure watching me do all of this but I'll just show you it, keep your when you're grinding like that I'm not trying to act like you're three years old and don't know this but keep the part you can do on the right hand side of your grinder and that makes you kind of throw it off of there and not try to pull it this way so and on this side you could now you, you need to keep it on your right keep the part on the right hand side of the grinder 
Same way when you're cutting with the plasma, always keep your cut on the right hand side of the torch. But it cleans it up quick and easy. You can see there, this versus that. You see how quick that works. Your other side's not gonna have anything anyway. I usually just cover it on this side too, just to knock anything, smooth it all off where it's ready for paint. But that's how easy that is. And I just wanted to make a quick video of this because I was hard headed for about the last four months. I've been messing around. I probably made a hundred of these around Christmas. Yeah, you know, I got my glasses on for safety mostly and so I can see good, but uh, that's how easy that is to do. So um, don't be hard headed like me. Do it this way. It's very easy. Even on the bigger, thicker stuff, which has very little dross anyway, you just you don't have to mess with grinding with a flap disc or anything like that. Just to do it like this. This is hot roll, 16 gauge, nasty. I've never had any cold roll. I'd like to get some. But in my area, this stuff's expensive, I think. So anyway, that's all I got real quick here at lunch. So appreciate you watching this.